Understanding, in someone's corner, a guide to support and solidarity. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a very interesting and heartwarming phrase in the English language, in someone's corner. This phrase carries a lot of weight in terms of emotional support and loyalty. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand its meaning but also how to use it effectively in your conversations. So, let's get started. The phrase, in someone's corner, originates from the world of boxing, where a boxer's corner is where their coach and support team stand. Being in someone's corner means providing unwavering support, encouragement, and backing to someone, especially during difficult times. It signifies a deep level of trust and solidarity. To better grasp how, in someone's corner, is used in everyday language, let's look at a few examples. No matter what happens at the meeting tomorrow, I want you to know I'm in your corner. She knew her family was in her corner, ready to support her through her career change. These examples show that declaring you are, in someone's corner, is a powerful way to express your support. Understanding synonyms and related phrases can enrich your vocabulary. Here are a few, backing someone up, standing by someone, supporting someone, being someone's ally, these phrases convey similar meanings and can be used interchangeably depending on the context. Knowing when and how to use, in someone's corner, can enhance your English communication, especially in emotional or supportive contexts. It's perfect for, personal conversations, to show support to friends and family, professional emails, to offer backing to colleagues or partners motivational speeches, to inspire and rally support for a cause or individual. Thank you for joining me today to explore the meaning and usage of, in someone's corner. This phrase is a beautiful testament to the power of support, loyalty, and solidarity in the English language. Remember, being in someone's corner can make a world of difference to them, reinforcing bonds and building trust. I hope you found this video helpful and feel more confident using this phrase in your conversations. See you in the next video.